That looks less like a mountain crumbling down, and more like someone used a gentle shake preset and some keyframe animation in Adobe Premiere. This thing's gem not only floats unnaturally in the air after it starts to crumble, but then it somehow pops to the right when it properly poofs. Not only did that look like it landed in front of her rather than on top of her, but she had a good few seconds to just move out of the way. You know, the whole point of this episode is supposed to be the centipedal, right? Then why isn't it even drawn in this shot? I'm back inside the temple! Thank you for your most appreciated intel, Executive Obvious. <laughs> why and how did they do that? I think you should try and tame it, Steven. It already looks pretty tame, though, considering it isn't even trying to attack anybody right now. Shut down by the G-Squad! You just got garneted! Garneted. It's just a snow. What was the point of chaining it there if it could have just broken out that easily? Smells good, right? So the thing exhaled in order to smell something? <laughs> and now you're just wasting them considering that it never actually eats the ones on the ground. You saved me. It's a fucking seagull. What was there to save you from? It pecking your eyes out? It didn't even look like it was going to do anything. It was focused on the centipede, not Steven. <laughs> In what world does Steven think that doing this is even remotely a good idea? What, did it just melt part of the background or something? Why does this look so weird? The gems on the temple door disappear in this shot. This shot makes Pearl's arm look like it's swollen. What do you do with the shooting star? Uh, you shoot it. Garnet never actually puts her gauntlets in the liquid here, but in this shot, the gauntlets are suddenly wet. Something's wrong. You don't say. Steven! What reason would Garnet have to kick it here? It isn't even spewing any acid or attacking anybody. If anything, Pearl agitated it, so this just seems unnecessarily cruel. Real smart move to pull it into you as an attack. Also, the crystal gems land like this in this shot, but then in the next shot, Amethyst and Pearl switch places, with Amethyst now being upside down for some reason. We have so many memories now. You've known this thing for not even a day. And how we became best friends? Well, fuck lion, I guess. Steven hugs the centipedal's head here, only for his arms to move to its mane in the next shot. Did it really have to just stand there after knocking him away rather than just stepping to the side a little? I understand the sentiment, and the moment is admittedly pretty poignant, but it's deflated a little by how preventable it was and how this was seemingly just written for the drama. You did a good job training the centipedal. Your mother would be so proud. I gotta hand it to the Kruniverse. The way they write these heavy scenes, especially when Garnet is the one giving a speech or advice to Steven, is just masterful. Centipedal is spelled wrong in the credits here. 